I'm Dick McCord, Vice President of Engineering with Silver Sport Transmissions. And today we're going to show you how to dial in uh, the bell housing for a Magnum transmission installation. We've already mounted our index positioning plate. That plate is located on the Magnum bell housing through the two dowel pins. That's what accurately positions the actual index hole to the bell housing. The bell housing is bolted to the engine block. And what we're going to check is the relative location of the bell housing to the crankshaft. Now to do that, we've mounted a magnetic base indicator on the flywheel. That magnetic base can be positioned anywhere on the flywheel because it establishes a fixed distance between the location of the magnet base and the tip of the indicator needle. As we rotate the crankshaft, that fixed distance never changes. So you're, you're getting a full arc as you rotate 360 degrees. The indicator reading will tell us how much run out there is between the crankshaft and the bell housing as measured through the index hole. So we've previously rotated the engine and I've located the indicator reading that represents the closest point, or we call that zero. Now the indicator needle, I've established the height so that it's positioned midway on the thickness of this index plate. If your needle was too close to the front or the back, you run the risk that the needle could actually uh, move over the corner and affect your run out reading. So again, we've established that this point is the closest on the indicator and now we'll sweep it 180 degrees to find out the distance furthest away, which should be 180 degrees to the opposite side. So Fred, you can go ahead and rotate that. And we'll watch the indicator reading. So we've got about 5,000 so far. It's showing 10. Now I've marked hundred eighty degrees from the closest point the total indicator reading was 12 thousandths. And just to verify that, we'll go ahead and re finish rotating the full 360 degrees and the indicator should come back to zero. Okay, Fred, that's good. You can see the needle came back to zero. So what we have here is a total indicator reading of 12 thousandths of an inch. The allowed spec is 10 thousandths of an inch. So that, that's 10 thousandths total indicator, or it's 5 thousandths run out. That's the limit we have to see. We've got 12 thousandths total, or 6 thousandths run out. So we need to use uh, corrective uh, dowels, and we will, we will be installing those dowels in the direction of the closest point to the furthest point in that direction. Uh, the, the minimum dowel offset, corrective offset dowel is seven thousandths of an inch. So we will be using seven thousandths corrective dowels, moving it in that direction 
to bring it back within 5,000 spec. 